Wisconsin's top election official was interviewed in April by federal authorities investigating former President Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Megan Wolf is administrator of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. She's at least the third election official in Wisconsin interviewed by special counsel Jack Smith's team about the 2020 election. That revelation coming on the same day Trump said he's been notified he's a target of that Justice Department probe. And Trump posted on social media saying he anticipates being indicted. More now from NBC's Alice Barr. And I won't Former President Trump's legal troubles back in the spotlight today after he revealed he'd been notified he is the target of a grand jury investigation into January 6th and efforts to reverse the results of the 2020 election. The former president calling it a witch hunt. Two sources confirming to NBC News the target letter came from special counsel Jack Smith. He has made it abundantly clear that Donald Trump will be charged in connection with January 6th. Legal analysts say charges could include inciting an insurrection and conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government, though that would require proving the former president knew he had lost the election and tried to overturn it anyway. Mr. Trump writing today, quote, under the United States Constitution, I have the right to protest an election that I am fully convinced was rigged and stolen. Republican lawmakers echoing former President Trump's claims of a political prosecution. President Trump went up in the polls and was uh, actually surpassing President Biden for re-election. So what do they do now? Weaponize government to go after their number one opponent. While on the campaign trail, criticism of the GOP frontrunner is growing. We can't keep dealing with this drama. We can't keep dealing with the negativity. It was shown how he was in the White House and didn't do anything while, while things were going on. Uh, he should have come out more forcefully. Though Governor DeSantis stopped short of saying the former president's actions were criminal. Adding to the legal challenges today in Florida, a federal judge holding the first pretrial hearing in the case involving former President Trump's handling of classified documents. A separate indictment could be coming in the next few weeks out of Georgia, surrounding efforts to overturn the 2020 election in that state. Just yesterday, the Georgia Supreme Court rejected the Trump legal team's last-ditch effort to head that off. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And more developments today. Michigan's attorney general has criminally charged 16 Republicans who acted as fake electors for former President Trump, accusing them of a fraudulent effort to reverse President Biden's 2020 victory. Each faces eight charges, including conspiracy uh, and election law forgery. Now, this is the first time any members of a fake electoral college slates for Trump have been criminally charged. And much more ahead on this coming up on the NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt.